Good day to you, fellow Git enthusiast, and welcome back to another video in the Mastering Git tutorial series. In the last video, you took a look at how you can use rebasing as an alternative to merge, reducing those merge conflicts and messy history. In this one, you're going to unleash more of the power of rebasing and see how you can use it to completely rewrite history. Via the gift of interactive rebase, you can go through your Git repository and reorder commits, delete them, edit them, or even squash multiple commits into a single commit. I do need to take this opportunity to once again reiterate that rebasing rewrites history. Now that's absolutely fine if your branch is your local branch and you've not shared it with anybody. Rebasing in this way is ideal for tidying up your code before you push it up to be reviewed. However, if you've already shared a branch and then you rebase it, people will still have that original branch that you rebased and you've just effectively added another branch with the same code on it. If you absolutely must do rebasing on a public repository, make sure that everybody is in agreement beforehand and that you've devised a strategy so that everybody gets that rebased branch. As a general rule, don't rebase something that is shared. To start out with this demo, you're going to take a look at Will's validator branch again, using the same repo that you used last time. Remember that you rebased Xanthi and Zach's changes into Will's validator branch. Well, now if you take a look at that branch, you'll see that there are a hell of a lot of tiny little commits in there. And maybe before we push that into the master branch, we'd like to tidy that up so that we've got two semantically understood separate commits, one producing all of the utility functions and one producing the overall function for validation. You're going to start out by learning how to reorder some of the util commits so that they can then be squashed into a single commit later on. Ensure that you're on the correct branch with git checkout w validator. And then take a look at the history with git gl. And you see there's a whole set of these different commits here, hopefully named util 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and check 0, 1 through 4. And I want to combine those eventually, but first of all, let's see how I can reorder them so that all of the util commits form a contiguous block. If you scroll all the way down, you can see what's the parent commit of these. And that's quite a long way down here because we've got lots of branching off the end of it. But here, it's this 69670E7 is the commit that is the parent to all of these commits. That's the one that we're going to interactively rebase on top of. So to do that, git rebase-i for interactive and then the hash. And that will throw you into a file that looks a lot like this. This might appear a little bit cryptic at first, but it really is quite simple. Each line in this text document represents a commit. You can see their hashes and description on the line. The first word of each line represents what Git will do when it completes the rebase operation. Pick means I want to keep this commit exactly as it is. If you delete the line, then the commit will be deleted. You can also choose to squash which will take a commit and join it with the previous one. You can choose edit, which will stop the rebase midflow and allow you to change that commit before then continuing with the remaining commits. You can choose reword, which allows you to change the commit description. Or you can choose exec, which allows you to run a script for that commit. The ordering of these lines is important as well. Git will run through each of them in turn. Therefore, to reorder commits, all you have to do is reorder the lines. Let's see that now by putting all of those util commits in one chunk. It's highly likely that your editor is probably vim, in which case you're going to need to know a little bit of vim foo. We're going to move this util one line down a line. So to cut it, type dd, and then on the check 01 line, type lowercase p. That will paste that line in on the line beneath. Now you want to take util 3, 4 and 5, so go down to the util 3 and type D2, enter, and then scroll up to the refactoring the range checking function and type P. And then finally go down to the util 06 line, type DD, scroll up to the util 05 line and type lowercase P. And that will 
cut and paste each of those lines around into the order that you want. You've now got U2 1 through 6 in a nice contiguous block. Save and quit that file and the rebus will run. You can see that scrolling through and then if I run git gl you'll see those commits have now been reordered. You've got check 01 right at the bottom and then you've got all of your util commits as a nice block and then the remaining check commits. I want to squash those now into a single util commit and to do that I'm going to use the same rebase command so git rebase dash i and then that same hash. Make your way down to the util01 line and change the word pick for reword and to do that in vim type cw and then put in the name reword. Then escape and then go down to each of the other util lines and change pick for squash. So cw on the first one type in squash then escape and then if you scroll to the beginning of each of the other lines and type dot you know, kind of full stop then it will replace those in the same way. Save and quit with the same escape colon wq and the rebase will continue. It will start out by throwing you into the first one that requires your input, which is the reword. You asked it to reword this commit message. So it throws you into an editor so that you can change that commit message. So I'm going to change that by typing capital C and putting in creating utility function for mean square validation. Save and quit in the same way that you would with a commit, escape colon wq, and then it will throw you once again into another editor. This time it represents all of those squashes in one. It wants you to create a commit message that represents all of those squashed commits. Let's write our own one in here. So delete everything with lowercase g capital D, and then write utility functions for the ms validation. Save and quit in the same way you do with a commit, escape colon wq, and then the rebase will complete. And if you type git gl, you'll see what you've done. Those commits at the top have now been squashed into a single commit called utility functions for the ms validation. All of those other commits are now in that single commit, much, much tidier. Okay, so that's looking a whole lot better. You've got all of those messy util commits down into one single commit. However, it's not quite what we wanted when we first started out. Your challenge is to combine the remaining commits into a single commit as well, using interactive rebase. You can do that with a single rebase if you want, or you can follow the pattern that we used here, where we reordered the commits and then squashed them. And once you've done that, it's time to get that code onto master. And I'd like you to rebase so that that code appears on master. Remember what I said at the start though, you cannot rebase a shared branch. But what you can do is rebase the W validator branch on top of master, and then the merge of W validator into master becomes a fast forward merge, much tidier than that extra merge commit. I realize that's quite a lot of things to do, but you can have a go at that and then pop back and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. Same interactive rebase command again, coming off the same parent commit. I'm going to do all of this in one go this time, rather than two interactive rebases. So grab that check 01 line with dd, and then paste that beneath the utility functions line with lowercase p. We're going to keep the commit message the same on check 01, so you just want to replace the remaining five check commits with squash. So then we'll end up with two commits, and or one for utility functions, one for check functions. Once again, you'll be thrown into a combined commit message, which you can empty with lowercase g capital D, and then type in a commit message, like creating the magic square validation function. Save and quit that to continue the rebase with escape colon wq. And then if you do git gl, you'll see that you've achieved what you wanted to. Now there are just two commits representing the entire validation process. Now to get that code onto master. As you heard, you could do this through a merge commit, but let's do it through rebasing. 
We can't rebase master, but what we can do is rebase w validator on top of master with git rebase master. No merge conflicts, that's nice and easy. And if you do git gl, you'll see that now that you, those two commits stem off the master branch, which means that if I check out master, git check out master, and then do git merge w validator, it's a fast forward commit. There are no new merge commits. I can now delete the w validator branch. And if I do git gl again, you can see that the master branch now contains those two new validation commits. And just see that again inside GitHub. And with that, you're done. You've really got the essence of interactive rebasing there. And then combining that with using rebase instead of merge, you've got a great understanding of exactly what you can do with rebase in Git. In the next video, you're going to take a look at solving quite a common problem. You learn about Git Ignore in the previous video series. However, quite often you'll end up needing to add something to Git Ignore that you already track in your repository. In the next video, you'll see exactly what you can do to fix this. Until then, bye bye.